The pace of technological advancement is mind-boggling, isn't it? And nowhere is this more evident than in the rapidly evolving world of warfare. Today, we're diving into a story straight out of the future. China's Aviation Industry Corporation has unveiled a fighter jet like no other. The Baidi, or White Emperor, a sixth-generation marvel that has the entire world talking. Here's what we're asking today. What sets the Baidi apart from anything we've seen before? Could this jet reshape the global power dynamics between East and West? And how are other nations responding to China's bold leap into the future of warfare? We want to hear from you. Drop your thoughts in the comments as we explore whether this breakthrough is a game changer or just the beginning of an even bigger story. The White Emperor, or Baidi in Chinese, is China's latest leap into the future of military aviation. Unveiled at Airshow China 2024 in Southern Zhuhai City, just a day after 75th anniversary of the People's Liberation Army Air Force on November 11, 2024, this sixth-generation fighter jet isn't just making headlines, but sparking conversations around the globe. But what's so special about it? Let's explore together. Visualize a war machine crafted for the skies, capable of outmaneuvering enemies and delivering precise strikes to targets on the ground, designed with sharp angles in a sleek, aerodynamic form. Now add the ability to reach and maintain supersonic speeds. What would it look like as it tears through the air with precision? But there's more. Its advanced stealth technology ensures it's nearly invisible to radar. And here is the real twist. It can even operate in space. A fighter jet designed to break through Earth's atmosphere what do you think that means for the future of aviation? Take a closer look inside the sixth generation fighter and you'll find enhanced avionics and a redesigned extremely spacious cockpit, making it a pilot's dream. Now let's zoom out. The Baidi or White Emperor is part of Project Nantiamen, China's ambitious initiative to redefine combat aviation. What if you had the power to design an integrated airspace fighter capable of handling multiple missions? That's exactly the vision behind Nantiamen Project, a fighter jet that could change the rules of the game. And here's the big question. With its ability to operate in space and dominate high-altitude combat, could this fighter jet shift the balance of global military power? What's your take? Is this a bold leap into the future or a game-changer that makes other nations rethink their strategies? The Baidi is just the beginning of this fascinating story. What's next? While many of Baidi's specifications are still a mystery, we do know a few exciting details. This fighter has a larger internal weapons bay, allowing it to carry heavier, air-to-ground munitions. Perfect for a range of combat situations. What do you think this means for the jet's versatility in battle? But the White Emperor isn't the only player in the game. The global race to develop sixth generation fighter jets is getting intense. While China has shown off a mock-up of its fighter, the United States is ahead with its B-21 Raider. The B-21 Raider is considered the first true sixth generation fighter jet. It's a bomber that's been under development since 2011, with major contracts awarded in 2015. Yet despite its cutting-edge technology, most details have been kept tightly under wraps. Does that make you curious about what the U.S. has been working on all these years? On China's side, the H-20 is its own sixth-generation bomber, but it's still a few years away from being publicly revealed. Considering China's track record of surprising the world with quick advancements, when do you think we'll see the H-20? But China and the U.S. aren't the only ones racing ahead. The U.K., Japan, and Italy have teamed up for the Global Combat Air Program, or GSAP, while Germany and France are working on their Future Combat Air System, or FCS. Both projects are pushing the boundaries of aviation technology, but they're not without challenges. Initiative of the U.S. Air Force, called Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, has been slowed down by high costs, and FCAS has faced delays due to disagreements between the partners. Which of these projects do you think will come out on top? Let's take a look at the Next Generation Air Dominance program of USAF, initially projected to cost around $300 million per airframe. That's a huge price tag, and no surprise, it raised some serious concerns about the project's future. So what do you think the designers did? They started looking for ways to trim costs. But the tricky part is, cutting expenses might mean simplifying certain parts or trying out new manufacturing methods. Could saving money on some components risk the performance and cutting-edge features that make the NGAD so special? It's a tough call. Keep costs down or push forward with top-tier technology. What would you do if you were part of the team behind this project? Let's break down China's Beatty fighter jet and the U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance Program. What are your thoughts on the shifting dynamics? The White Emperor's unveiling certainly comes at a time when the NGAD program is struggling due to financial setbacks. If NGAD gets back on track, 
What kind of innovations do you think we'll see? It could lead to breakthroughs like joint drone missions, autonomous operations, and real-time battlefield surveillance. The U.S. could also form new alliances with countries like the U.K., Japan, and Australia to share costs and speed up development. How important do you think these international partnerships are, especially when it comes to countering China's growing military strength? Could this help the U.S. keep pace with China, or would it just be a financial burden? If NGAD succeeds, it could become the foundation for the next generation of air defense. But what's your take? Can the U.S. recover and lead the charge? Or is China's white emperor going to shift the balance of power in the skies? Let's see where this goes. Further, if the global combat air program progresses smoothly, it could be the second sixth-generation fighter jet to make its debut. Or what if China surprises everyone and unveils its jet earlier than expected? The interesting part is, there's no universal agreement yet on what truly qualifies as a sixth-generation fighter jet. Each country seems to have its own standards for what that means, but we can expect these jets to feature impressive capabilities like supersonic speeds, all-direction stealth, and futuristic weapons like microwave or laser systems. The country that's first to develop and deploy a true sixth-generation fighter jet could set the bar for military aviation for decades to come. So who do you think will lead the way? China, the US, or someone else? What's your take on the future of air dominance? Let's take a closer look at China's white emperor that's stirring up a lot of conversations. Do you think this could be a game changer in the global military balance, or is it too early to tell? The Baidi fighter jet is packed with some seriously advanced technology. Could this mean they're gearing up for dominance in not just air combat, but in space as well? Now this adds another layer to the story. The psychological impact of unveiling the white emperor is huge. It's a clear message about China's growing military might. Do you think this is a move to assert dominance? Or do you see it more as a challenge to other nations? What do you think countries around the world will do in response? Speed up their own military advancements? Of course, we can't ignore the economic side of things. Developing such an advanced sixth-generation aircraft doesn't come cheap. The costs involved could strain China's resources. Do you think this will affect China's economy in the long run? Or could this push other global powers to spend more on their military, leading to an arms race? The Baidi could also shake things up in the Asia-Pacific region. Do you think countries in the region, and even the United States, will see this as a threat? How do you think this will change the power dynamics in the area? Some experts believe the White Emperor is still in the concept phase. Do you think it's too early to judge? While it's clear that the White Emperor could change the global military scene, it's still unfolding. What are your thoughts? Do you think it will live up to the hype? Or is there more to discover as things unfold? Let's keep an eye on this story together. We'd love to hear what you think, so leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest happenings. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to share it with your friends and family.